Brazil, although not a developed country, has made some achievements in the field of military industry in recent years. The aviation industry in Brazil is particularly noteworthy. This year, the European Union initiated a tender to purchase new tactical transport aircraft for several member countries in Europe to replace old models such as the C-130. Currently, Brazil's KC-390, designed and manufactured by the Brazilian aviation industry, appears to be very promising. The KC-390 is a medium-sized multi-purpose transport aircraft developed in collaboration with the Brazilian government by the Brazilian aviation industry in 2009. Argentina, Chile, and other countries later joined the project, but they could not provide much technical support. Boeing had once wanted to get involved but was blocked by the Brazilian authorities. Nevertheless, the KC-390 is indeed a good aircraft. It is the largest aircraft produced by Brazil to date and made its maiden flight in 2015. It is currently in official service in Brazil, Portugal, and other countries. The Brazilian aviation industry estimated in 2011 that nearly 700 similar old aircraft would need to be replaced worldwide in the future, indicating a huge market potential. The KC-390 is a high-wing, T-tail twin-engine transport aircraft with an empty weight of approximately 23,600 kg and a maximum takeoff weight of 74,400 kg. The aircraft has a payload of 26 tons and can transport up to 80 soldiers, 64 paratroopers, 3 Humvee armored vehicles, or a UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter. It can fulfill most conventional tactical transport missions and can be equipped with different kits for firefighting, medical evacuation, search and rescue, and aerial refueling missions. The cargo compartment is equipped with an advanced loading and unloading system, and the aircraft can achieve greater accuracy and reduce crew workload during airdrops using the computerized air release point CARP, technology. The aircraft is powered by two V2500E5 turbofan engines, each producing 138 knots of thrust, enabling the aircraft to reach a maximum speed of nearly 1,000 km per hour and a maximum altitude of approximately 11,000 meters. The maximum ferry range is 6,130 km, which decreases to 2,590 km with a 26-ton payload. The aircraft's landing gear is equipped with a shock absorption system, allowing it to take off and land at field airports even with a full load. The cockpit is equipped with the Pro-Line Fusion Avionics system developed by Collins Aerospace, featuring 5 15-inch displays that allow the crew to easily observe various data and optimize flight plans. In terms of self-protection, the aircraft can withstand attacks from 7.62mm bullets, and the chaff and flare system can counter incoming air-to-air -air missiles. The crew also has support from a laser warning system, missile approach warning system, radar warning system, infrared directional detection system, and vision enhancement system. Although the C-130 transport aircraft is a classic, it is ultimately a model that has been in service for several decades, and most of the aircraft are nearing the end of their service life. Even with refurbishment and upgrades, they are unable to meet the needs of some countries. In comparison, the KC-390 surpasses the C-130 in all aspects. Furthermore, there have been few new aircraft of the same type introduced in recent years, making the KC-390 a popular choice. However, countries such as Germany and France have strong aviation industry capabilities themselves. Directly purchasing finished products is not ideal from the perspective of industrial development or national pride. Currently, discussions are underway to collaborate with Brazil to produce and expand the market. The Brazilian aviation industry has also been proactive, launching a civilian version in 2018 with some modifications to suit civilian needs. In the coming period, the KC-390 series of aircraft may receive more orders.